Today is all about finishing all of our automatic storage system. And we have a special weapon. Boats! All right, well, we obviously have the multi-item sorter in here. And we need our bulk storage system. This really needs to be cleaned up. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a little screenshot for posterity, but then it's gonna go. All right, <laughs> now, now that I can move freely and actually think, let's talk about storage for a second. I'm not a storage tech person, um, but I wanted a fast bulk item storage that would load into shulker boxes and then load those shulker boxes into this. I've used a uh, mine cart, hopper mine cart filter system that picks up quite a lot. Now we're over here in the creative world on Vervain's Arcadia and I have used a system like this um, mine cart item filter um, on a couple of my farms and I wanted to see if I could integrate it into a bulk system because like it's so fast and what I have is a lot of hoppers um, but what I have is a system that will well there's not shulker there right now but a system that will load the bulk item into a shulker box into a shulker loader and send it this way, but then also have access to just a plain chest of those items as well. You need to kind of buffer the items a little bit um, because if you just eat a whole shulker and all of the things come running up into here, well, that doesn't go so well. But if we peek into this system, you can see we use hopper minecarts over hoppers. And then we run those all into a boat here. And the reason I did that is because items don't land perfectly evenly across the entire surface there after they've been yeeted. So these hopper mine carts push items through the hoppers, which then push items into the boat. And the boat then evenly redistributes the items into these hoppers, which then run into droppers. It is definitely not the most efficient or lag friendly system, but it's still kind of cool. And I think this is what we're gonna end up doing for our bulk storage and item input. So now what I need to do is I need to port over that design into this area. We're going to first dig down um, a lot farther. Like the item drop system is gonna be a lot farther down than it is in the creative world mostly because I want peace and quiet so the way I've set the system up and it's maybe not absolutely foolproof but it's set up so that these comparators detect if there is anything in um, the droppers at the corners and if there is the observers are pushed over to make an observer clock if there are items in the corner dropper and we will also um send a signal into the target block from the other side almost as long as there are items in the system the hopper clocks will be running the droppers will be dropping things down into the water stream and up here is um not too complicated after this uh, we will need to put in some of those fence posts and then we put in a hopper clock and finish the shulker unloader. And that should be about it. All right, I went ahead and just added the rest of our input system and built up the uh, stalag pillar um, between, or like off camera. And so this is what it looks like. And you can see the redstone behind it, which is kind of cool, I think, to be honest. I don't mind it at all. Um, and you can see that our setup includes a pretty simple shulker loader. I, if I recall correctly, this is an ill mango design. Um, and then of course the system that we added in earlier, 
down at the bottom for actually collecting the items. So everything will fall down there. This is also an input for any like loose items in our inventory. And this is a shulker box input. And of course, we're using a shulker eater. And I'm already like not worried at all about my shulker supply. But once we get the crafter, like it's going to be no problem to be eating shulker boxes. And I kind of wanted to, I actually wanted to use a design that was a shulker eater because it just sounds fun. Anyways, so now we need to go ahead and add in our bulk storage and all of like those storage lines. I used cyan uh, concrete and concrete powder because I need a gravity block there um, in the redstone for the input system. But I think I'm going to use, keep the blue ice theme going, but use prismarine. Oh, I'm also going to need to make sure this is all well lit. We'll continue with our sea lantern patterns and situation there. So that's our shulker loader system. Okay, and now we need even more iron. This thing is going to just eat up all of our iron. Is that a spider in a dark area that I had not lit up yet? Ooh. Well, it's, a good, it's good to know that that's there. Ugh, it keeps going. All right. Well, we're going to take care of that momentarily, but for now... And I'm thinking we turn this solid block. We're going to have to clean up every hopper before we actually activate this system. This block is going to be a sea lantern because it doesn't actually need to uh, transmit anything. All right. Minecart there. And minecart there and there. Excellent. Okay, so this is our setup for each slice. Um we'll go through and check our hoppers and run our uh, sh shulker line for our empty shulker boxes and set up our item filters once we have all of these built. I love good redstone time lapse, so let's get going. <laughs> Right, all of our systems are in, all of our lines are in for the storage system. And I also went ahead and put in the floor over here, which is of course fantastic. And we definitely need to put a few more fish in here. Um, there are a few that have been like swimming up and down the waterfall, but uh, yeah, we need more fish, always more fish. But first things first, we need to make sure that we empty all of the spots. Let's see. So our shulker box delivery system is this rail line. It goes up and around and delivers shulker boxes. And our input is right here. So it's behind this wall. So what we need to do is we need to go through and check all of the different spots for um, any, any miscellaneous, like, stuff like that that has dropped into the system and there's I think four points that we need to check um, so the chests underneath these droppers the hoppers above where the shulker box goes and then um, the the 
mine carts up at the very top, though I think none of them should have junk in them at this point, except for the very first, which is nice because we can just see that by seeing what comparators are lit up. Okay, that's all the easy parts checked. Let's see, what's gonna be the uh, easiest way to check the rest of this? I think, honestly, I think if I go from here, that, that works. Oh, geez. I was going about doing my thing when Amy showed up and we got a bit sidetracked. Damn it. Why, hello? Hello. <laughs> what is what is all this? Uh, this is my bulk storage. But I am currently How working on. Do you need lots? I'm currently working on trying to like empty this all is the. This already the biggest storage system I've ever seen, and now you're just like. But this is this is for like you... the multi-item storage. Why is it... <laughs> How is it once again a super pretty storage system? Isn't it so pretty? I designed this one. I love it. I'm so happy with you it. You know the redstone design as well? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, I took a couple of other people's things that I had used and like pushed them all together into a cohesive bulk storage system that wasn't like the crazy, crazy stuff on cards. the tech on the storage tech discord because <laughs> that stuff is overwhelming. <laughs> but I really love how it turned out. It's so pretty. Oh! Crap, I still have my Frostwalker boots on. Maybe don't do that, D. <laughs> Not when they're fish. Hmm? Well, it's a little too dark here. I'll have you know, none of these blocks are at zero. <laughs> it felt dangerous. Yeah, it does. It goes down to one this in several places. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> this is, this is, uh, and then a bit more sidetracked. The like punching Those particles? I've never seen that. that. That's so cool. Aren't these just normal particles? No. That's just particles. No, you try it. It's like, you know the particles that go behind you when you run around? It's kind of like those. That's just mining particles. Yeah. I didn't know you could get that from a portal. That's so cool. Wow, I'm shocked. What? <laughs> could you wait one more second, please? Oh my <laughs> God, you pushed me through the portal. No. What? I definitely you... wouldn't do so. Oh my gosh. Uh. Ah. Damn it! What? My... Damn it! I couldn't craft them quick enough. Ah. <laughs> I can't take off. Why can't I take off? There we go. Jeez. Damn it. <laughs> Didn't make the anvils quick enough. God damn so it. close. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious, though. Well done. <laughs> you really didn't notice anything? Huh? You didn't? Okay. Nope. What did you do? What did Nothing. you do? What did you do? What did you do? Uh, Amy? My goodness. What has happened? Did you steal my banner? No, my banner's still there. Oh my god, you took my diamond! You get back here! Amy? Nope. <laughs> nope. Come get me. <laughs> ah! The pig's gonna end up dead hey, in the middle of my paw. I'm so sorry! <laughs> you brought this on yourself! Oh jeez! How? How? 
I'm gonna end up at spawn, by the way. Ah, okay. All right, off we go. <laughs> okay, fine, turn this into a scavenger hunt. Hey, well, I have a storage system to continue cleaning up, so I'm gonna head back. <laughs> at least I instigated that one. All right, we are back in business. What were we doing when she showed up? We were... Grabbing things out of hoppers. Right. All right. So there's that whole system. Cleaned up. So now we're gonna do two different things. We are going to make a bunch of shulker boxes. Let's see how this goes, cause... Even half of those might be too many. We're gonna make a bunch of shulker boxes. We're going to dump them all into the system. Um, and we're gonna let it keep just running, filling up. Um, as we then go and set our item sorters. All right, we're gonna go ahead and keep using fish but we're gonna rename them so that they're not the same name as those, what's in those boxes. All right, we're going with fish. Oh, I don't have levels. We're gonna rub this in Amy's face. We're just here to rename some of these. Uh, please hold. All right, this is the fun part. Where we go up to the very, very tippy top. Uh, last night when I was working on the floor area, a creeper came up the bubble column. So now the little spot where the water flow ends down in the bottom there has a pressure plate on it rather than a sign. All right, this is the one spot that has the comparator on and it should, okay, yeah, so it's mostly items that we want in this anyways so we'll put that there excellent around here is where i started having some issues and everyone decided to come join the party now snow is the one i'm not sure about and i think what's actually gonna end up happening is i'm gonna run this in as oh, let's see what's this one I'm gonna run it in as snowballs, probably, actually. And then we'll need, let's see, we get snow in here. Oh! What? <gasps> I wanna bet, no, we didn't forget that. Oh. What the, oh dear. So we try again. There it goes again, what the heck? What the heck? Okay. I think we might actually be back in business. Stupid, stupid redstone. Test run. <laughs> I love it and I hate it. <laughs> Did you test it? Yes. It's no longer suck it. Never mind. Um, Amy. Mm hmm. Could I get you to put the items in the filter so I can watch the the whole redstone process? What do you need me to put in? Uh. Let's and see. where? Yeah. So these ones, yeah, and into this one, this first one that's turned off. So into this hopper minecart here? Uh, yeah, yeah, into the hopper minecart. I think. <coughs> oh no, that's our problem. It's because it's a stack of sixteen, not sixty-four. God damn it! I'm not telling how long it took to figure that out. But then, I started giving away access to my storage system and resources to people in the growing lore neighborhood, and this little conversation happened. Oh my god. I'm also god. assuming you have a ton of deep slate tea. Um, it's definitely not my most plentiful resource, but like, I do have several shulkers I'm back. Of, Hi. of deep slate. I don't have a ton of cobble Hi. deep slate, though. Shark. Yeah, I, I don't mind if you have cobbled or not. I can make it cobbled. I just... <laughs> need it for for uh 
what's it called? Um, gradient work. Yeah. Um, if you if you want, like particularly cobbled too, like you can always you know steal a couple of wither skeleton skulls and <laughs> do some deep slate mining that way. It won't come back today, but it is a secret tool that will jump scare us later. All right, well, distraction's over, partly, kind of. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, we have at least a good amount of shulker boxes loaded into our system here. Um, I've been through probably, I think, about two, two shulkers worth of shulker shells. And these all need to go in the system. We'll wait for it to come back down around. Now, I'm curious because Cage was just running around my caves and going, you don't have this lit up and you don't have this lit up. And so he did pop in a little bit and add some, add some lights. <laughs> he covered it up so, you know, things can't get to us. Anyways, let's see. Where's our mine cart? Here it comes. We bump and go back the other way. And then we do a little zoop. So we have 35 active slices. Okay, it's good to know. Is that a page I see? I see a name tag. Y yeah, this whole situation wasn't like this a second ago. Hmm, very suspicious. Okay, Paige was coming to yoink some stone. Got it. Alrighty, so now this system should be fully and completely primed and able to receive anything that there is an item slot for. We're going to end up finding a lot of items that there aren't item slots for, but let's take a look at how this system works. Let's see. We've got some wood types here. We've got some stone types and some boxes on well, that one. This box particularly is going to stay there. Um, we've got boxes with just random assortments of... Oh, I don't have a spot for nether rack. So here's how it goes. We pop up here and we stick in our boxes, right? And this is a trapped chest, so it's not going to eat anything until until we close it. And then we start the first one off like a so. Except I think we may have that dispenser might be a problem. Yeah, that was a shulker box that went through. Oops. Okay. That actually broke all the items into there. And in a second, we should see them come rocketing up the water stream. There they go. We watch them cruise along. They're getting picked up by their correct item filter. Yay. Now, the, the timer for this is set for full shulker boxes. And I, oh, there it went. That was actually excellent timing, all things considered. We also have this spot. Oh, and yeah, you can see now we have some loose items in the bottom there. Um, we have this spot where we can toss in items, right? Actually, that can go in there too. Yeah. And these will be picked up as the hopper mine carts have room for them. All right, so now let's peek down here. Yeah, we've got some andesite coming into the bottom chest there. We should have opened this chest as well. Nice, nice, nice. So a lot of it is getting pushed into shulker boxes, right? But some of it is getting put into the loose storage at the bottom. I need to think about how to hook up chunk loaders to the system. I'm going to think about it for a little bit and think about how to implement that 
But in the meantime, I'm gonna start working on this end of the cave. Right, so there we go. We have this corner of the cave installed anyways. Um, and it is so pretty. I really, really love this. The tree is a bit of a mini version of the giant, giant tree that Pearl and I made in our creative competition plot. And then of course we've got a cute little pond over here with a waterfall and We've got floating candles and lanterns and just many lovely things. I haven't done much with this side of the cave um, because I'm leaving things open for the possibility of expanding this by another module or two, but I don't think I'm actually going to. We'll see what happens. Um, also, I thought that there was a larger cave under here and I was planning to expand into that, but there's actually not. It's just a very small little cave, so I might cover that up. But... Or I might just leave it open because it does look like it's just kind of going somewhere else. Maybe we'll actually put something down there. I don't know. There's plenty of caves that we need to put things in around here though, so maybe not. But it's really lovely and I think finishes out this area at least of the cave really, really well. This side of the cave is of course not particularly finished yet. I have plans for it, but they actually connect to other sets of plans, so I'm not going to worry about it right now, and we will come back to it later. Alright, well, I still need to put chunk loaders in, but that's a super easy thing that we don't have to do on video. Now I just need a bunch of resources to fill this up, so we'll see where that adventure takes us. But that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!